What's going on over here? What are those? Why are these Hillichurls cursed? What's going on? What the? Is it just Paimon or is there something weird about those Hillichurls over there? They give off a sinister energy right now. They look kind of, they look kind of weird. Paimon thinks so too. We've seen plenty of Hillichurls before and they're always the bad guys. But this is different. Uh-oh. This is right by the Wangshu Inn, too. Oh, the guests are in great danger. Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. Hmm. Let's go take care of them. All right. Dude, are these things going to, like, one-shot me as soon as they smack me? Here, let me see how much damage they do. Come on, hit me. <laughs> eh, this is normal. These super evil hilly trolls are more difficult to defeat than the usual kind, too. Hey! Seems like people are gathering over there. Uh-oh. Hmm, wonder what they're doing. This guy's got a mat. Wait, what is that? <gasps> Whoa! See that guy in the mask? He, he scared off all the hilly trolls. Is he an adeptus? Oh, you mean like Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that he wears. But the magic he was using seemed even more adeptus-y than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? Yeah. Ahem. Hello. Allow us to introduce ourselves. This is... Please. If you're here to thank me, there's no need. Cleansing the world of evil is the duty of the Adepti. Think nothing of it. I certainly don't. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's going on here? Wait. Who are you? One had assumed you were followers. But on closer inspection, it seems that we have not met. My name's Paimon, and this is my sidekick. Sidekick? Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> even, <laughs> even Paimon acknowledges that she's the main character of the story. <laughs> the one before you is the Adeptus, Master of Stars. Huh. The one is better known to one's followers as Star, Star Snatcher. Snatcher. I've never heard of you, bro. One descended from one's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fate saw fit that our paths should cross. Now, tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Leilai were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? <laughs> there are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yet, it is unbecoming of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. So I gotta speak to them? Yo, what's up, male believer? Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Wait a minute. No, you don't tell This guy's serving you medicine, too? Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this what? really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hmm. Could have also been because there was mist flour in it, though. Oh, my. Adepti medicine is surely the most potent. <laughs> my father will recover soon. I just know it. You f you fishy as hell, dog. I I don't trust you already. I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. Uh huh. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. It didn't come cheap, of course, but. Then, soliciting the services of a god is a monumental affair. Uh, just look at the rite of dissension. So, I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Liu would be willing to. After my fiancé had been left, I cried every day. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, now this is heavy. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiancé and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't explain it, but it really worked. I know in my heart that he'll return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick. I'm certain of it. I'm so overjoyed that I gave a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an what? offering. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiancé back. In which case, I wouldn't need it anyway. What? 
What the hell? <laughs> okay, you need to explain you yourself. Think? One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. <laughs> from their imagination. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liangzi. He said this, all things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, nope. It makes them way more complicated. But basically what you're saying is that their wishes can come true. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> Another question. Oh, you need but ask. Um, go on, take it off. <laughs> go on, take off the mask. Hey, isn't that a bit inappropriate? Nah, bro, I, I don't, I don't trust this guy. One wanders among mortals, doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. What are your wishes? I want to know where my sibling is. I want power rivaling that of the gods. I'd like to get rich quick. Now I want to know where my sibling is. I'm already rich. I got 10 million more in my back pocket. I'm good. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. Uh-huh. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. To mean. <laughs> He's gonna make me initiate into his cult or something. The way of the adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. What do we do? Python doesn't understand him at all. He wants a, He wants Mora. <laughs> oh, that's right. Some of those believers mentioned that they had to pay a pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Yeah. Well, Paimon's not forking over any Mora, and we don't have anything valuable to <laughs> <on> us. <laughs> you don't even have a vision. I don't think people put visions up for sale. Why don't we make him a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food. <laughs> can they? Uh, sounds good, actually. So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here, and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Hey, isn't that, um, Star Snapper? What a coincidence running into him again! <laughs> coincidence or Adepti incidents? What the? <laughs> Did you hear the name of the book he just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Mm hmm. Anyway, it was definitely a book about the Adepti. Why would an Adeptus want to buy a book about himself? Perhaps he's a narcissist, maybe. Could be. There's something that's just not right about this guy. Yeah. Wait, his mask is so ugly? <laughs> that's out of pocket. Nah, chill. Why would an Adeptus want people to pay him more? That's a good point. None of the other Adepti we've met seemed like they needed anything from anyone. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. This is the one. Let's see what it's all about, shall we? In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal mm. forms. When demons stirred, miasmas. Monsters and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to yeah, this is, the this is from the trailer. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter. Purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our Bro, they lives. Brother, all look so cool. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seeped yeah. into their broken souls. Death. They went mad with fear turned on each other 
or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyon, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. Yeah, that was the trailer for Zhao's story quest. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. Oh. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second. Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly trolls yeah. we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Yeah, probably. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. Life is pain. <laughs> there used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly only one of them is still alive today. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? Mm. Hmm. No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Definitely not. It's pretty obvious that the Star Snatcher guy is scamming people. And he's trying to uh, make people believe he's the sole surviving Yaksha. Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Dwayne and Karst. And let the truth shine through in its full. <laughs> We're playing detective now, are we? So it's obvious this guy was using the talisman because he doesn't have adeptal energy. Oh, look, they're back. Look. Well, let's see what he does. Flee at my command, foul demon. Flee! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> why, why won't you flee? <laughs> Do Hillichro sound like that? Uh oh. Looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. Sorry, buddy, we gotta we gotta save you. I don't know how Hillichro sounded like that. They don't sound as cute as I thought they do. Oh, I don't get it. Why didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, he was using the sigil of permission. Has the evil aura of these hilly trolls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that, that's a good reaction face. Come on. Oh, man. Sigil of permission, huh? Now, why does that sound familiar? Ah, yes. The get out of Juyun free card. <laughs> what are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Yeah, yeah. Were one but given another opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Can we leave them to you then? <laughs> uh, uh, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Uh huh. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. Yep. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. Oh, it's that <gasps> hey, look. demons again. No wonder. Paimo was just wondering who could have made such short work of these hilly churls. It's you. I remember you. <gasps> he remembers me, guys. He remembers us. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. <clears throat> What's going on? <laughs> but you are exercising demons. How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Oh. Or more precisely, 
from the karma I have accumulated. Okay. Mutations? Karma? Oh, does that mean... Paimon remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? Mm-hmm. So... So that means... Aww. <laughs> we read about your past in a book. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. Damn, that's edgy as hell. But understandable coming from the guy who literally suffers by living my comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy oh uh i'm sorry <laughs> chill it matters not in any case i am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence so we shall part ways here wait take us with you we'll be a big help paimon promises no need i am used to fighting alone and in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Mm -hmm. Oh, consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now. Please? <laughs> well, I... Uh, <laughs> come on, then. You've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years... Other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Ooh. It's understandable why Zhao is kind of edgy because his life is literally suffering. But, mm. Ooh. This place gives Paimon goosebumps. Ooh. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of Ooh. All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. This looks pretty as hell. Whoa. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Yeah, Zhao is such a sick character. Dude, that must have looked so badass from <laughs> the traveler's position. That must be the power you got for being a vigilant Yaksha, right? Yeah. Humans just realized that you only wear your mask when you're fighting the bad guys. But that Star Snatcher guy wears his mask the rest of the time, too. Star Snatcher? Yeah. <laughs> I am aware of no Adeptus by such a name. Yeah. So he is a fraud! Well, we'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. Yeah, that guy's a total fraud. It was pretty obvious. Dude, Zhao is so cool. I kind of want to pull for him. Like, seeing people battle with Zhao, it looks so cool, but it's just like, ugh, I don't know why. I just want to stick to the free-to-play characters. The only person I said I was ever going to pull for was Ganyu, and I'm never pulling again. So, I'm going to stick by that, okay? Bro, it's so cool. It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this Star Snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, I'm <laughs> oh boy. An adeptus who grants wishes. To think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an Adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Yao? The Liyue of yesteryear would never ask the Adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. <laughs> to be honest, an Adepti who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays true however feeble people nowadays may be they are not my concern i concern myself only with following rex lapis's original decree oops i haven't spoke without thinking again yeah <laughs> your fault oh uh one more thing that fake adeptus has a sigil of permission it's what he uses to exercise demons 
Wait. Truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. Mm -hmm. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. <laughs> I'd like to also teach him a lesson. Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us. And it just so happens that we've got a real adeptus with us too. If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never uh, dare to pose as an adeptus ever uh, again. Uh, what kind of lesson is Xiao going to be teaching? Because reminder, this is Zhao we're talking about. Uh, no, I only slayed. <laughs> I, do not kill <laughs> I knew that's what he was thinking. Who said anything about killing you? <laughs> I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. Then one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. Huh. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa, now that's a real adept eye art for ya. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. Oh. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. The spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but... We'd like to borrow some sensor and some lamps. Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest. For the dream trawler ritual, I trust. Yeah. <gasps> How'd you know that? I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Mm -hmm. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti arts. Uh-huh. Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. They serve little purpose here, in any case. Something on your mind? <laughs> Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please, take what you wish. You said take what you wish, so um, I'm gonna just take these bird eggs real quick, too. Grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be done. Paimon thinks we've got all the ones we can use now. But let's say bye to that guy before we leave, shall we? Yeah. I swear that guy was literally just here a second ago. <laughs> that guy was just here, bro. Where did he go? Once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me oh. and simply be on your way. Wait, he's an uh, he's an adeptus. My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion created by the adepti art known as mortal lingering. Uh huh. Now that you have taken the seven star lamps and sensor used in the mortal lingering ritual. My form is no longer visible to you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a ghost? <laughs> it is not untrue to say this. The line between adepti and ghosts is a fine one indeed. Mm -hmm. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Uh -huh. Yet my strength failed. No. Slain in battle. Aww. Today is the anniversary of my death. Aww. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue. And so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. You were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? Mm -hmm. So you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. Uh -oh. Even after all these millennia. 
He still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervasis. You sacrificed your life for Lyra, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear... <sighs> death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. Mm. <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions. But by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. And please pass on my regards to the Conqueror of Demons. You take care, too, Pervasis. Good luck in the afterlife, or wherever you're going. <sighs> if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. And I think he's gone. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasi's the Yaksha. I'll remember that. Hmm. This sensor and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you come by them? We got them from Pervasi's. Oh, and, um, he says hi. Pervasi's. <sighs> yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Pervasis might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Liyue behind, either. I hope that its present state will allow him to rest in peace. Yes, this will do. Now, the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. Mm -hmm. Like a real rigmarole. <laughs> Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigmarole. Right? Uh, come on, Paimon. You're opening your mouth without thinking again, Paimon. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body. Oh. Or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> when offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Okay. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. Okay. If all goes well, Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. <laughs> Gulps. It's a good thing we have the guide with us, because I don't think I would. I don't. I don't even remember what the steps were anymore. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, mm. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Uh, bring forth sin! No, you said it wrong. We finished the ritual, and we followed all the instructions to the letter. Uh-huh. <sighs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. Where is one? Huh? Uh, you two look familiar. Yeah. What's with one's body? One feels light. Weightless. Uh, guess what? You're already dead. Dead? <laughs> Impossible. One was just lying in peaceful repose at Wang Shu In. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself. Uh huh. One must indeed be in a dream. Uh, there's no helping this guy, is there? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? All right, time to take him down a peg. Oh boy. We got a fight. Wait, what? <laughs> There's a boss fight. Hold on. Got him, Baron Bunny. Well, I'll give you a push. 
Where are one's followers when one needs them? <laughs> Wait, can I beat this guy with just Baron Bunny? Oh, no, I want to see. Come here. No, come back. Come back. Where, where is he going? <laughs> Aha. You're standing in fire. <laughs> I surrender. I surrender. <sighs> so, are we still going to do this one self song and dance? Uh, no. No, never again. You, you almost killed me. Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again. I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not adept. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade is <laughs> an adeptus. Exercise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. Quackery is the word I least expected to come out of Zhao's mouth. <laughs> One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Uh, I... You're... It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the conqueror of demons at his knee. To this day, I'm an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. So you decided to imitate him? But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects... Wait, how did... At first, I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. But slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. So to sum you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan? No. Oh. Yes. Thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. Thanks, those backfired. Oh, great conqueror of demons. Please allow me to swear this oath before you. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I will remember your oath. Now go. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness, and for all that you have done for Lear. Oh, wait. We haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's oh, yeah. I really almost killed him with just Baron Buddy. That's funny. <laughs> hey there, boss. Star Snatcher's staying here, right? Star Snatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. Wang Ping An. It's a really normal name. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy. <laughs> asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? <laughs> you, idiot. Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. Huh? Seems like he actually mm. left us a few nice trinkets. Whoa, okay. Along with... <gasps> Woohoo! The sigil of permission! <laughs> a bad guy like him in a long time i'm actually quite touched yeah anyway let's go take the sigil of permission to xiao shall we oh he's just been sitting here he's probably waiting for almond tofu we got the sigil of permission back do you want to take it you have my thanks may i take your order sir <laughs> so he is wanting to eat one grilled ticker fish oh we'll prepare it for you immediately oh huh no almond tofu this time? Well, that's not like you. Oh. Ticker fish was Pervasi's favorite dish. Yeah. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. <laughs> mm. Was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. Come on, Fireman. And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case. <laughs> quietly slipped away. 